Here it is, and it's the real deal. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks, a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. And you're looking at, yes, you are, the Xiaomi My Smart Band 4. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is the big rage. And uh, we're going to take a look at it in just a moment once I tell you that this official version production unit is coming to us from TomTop. Thank you so much, TomTop, for sending this out. It's the 2019 global version. We did an earlier video that talked about being careful which ones you buy, especially if you uh, don't live in China or an English-speaking country, because there are actually two different versions. Uh, the regular version uh, within China will also sync up with English. Uh, we found that out if you tie it to your phone. However, if you're going to have any of the other languages supported, you're going to need the uh, global or international version. So as for improvements in this new 2019 version, uh, you can see they're talking about color screen, display brightness improvements, better battery capacity, Bluetooth 5 connectivity, all incremental improvements. 0.95 inch still screen with 120 by 240 resolution. Uh, it has a different interface, they say, giving smoother and simpler touch screen experience. I don't think so. I've tried it. I don't like it. It's not intuitive. You'll see what I mean. Uh, better battery life, active tracking with six different modes that will switch automatically, including swimming. It's got health monitoring uh, that supports heart rate monitoring, heart rate alerts, uh, sleep monitoring, and so forth. And the heart rate area is kind of interesting. We'll check that out. Three different sensors in it. Uh, well, more than three. Five atmosphere, uh, which is super duper good uh, water resistance. So you can definitely swim with this. Maybe go a little bit underwater, but I wouldn't still dive with it as a regular dive watch. Other features are shown here. Connectivity, uh, the low energy Bluetooth 5.0, and so forth. As far as specs then, here they all are. Uh, pretty much a repeat of what we just saw. 16 megabytes, not gigabytes of ROM, and 512K of RAM. Does not have NFC, um, and so forth. About 20 days maximum uh, life on the battery, and takes about two hours to charge. And it tethers with, da 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 da, my fit. And of course, that's the standard uh, Xiaomi uh, app that's used with AmazeFit and uh, this line of uh, Mai, the Mai bands and such. Okay, let's review this thing. Okay, got my slightly rusty slitter. And we can notice it's set to just hang on a rack at a high-end department store somewhere it's really um point of purchase ready and when you open it up you get the band and a a little protected area to make it look really big inside the box it's wrapped in plastic we can take it out of its little plastic bag and there it is what else have we got in here we've got a little charging thing Wow, it's quite a cradle. Look at this. Okay, so the whole band sits in a cradle. Really? The wire is coming off the end where the band is? Uh-huh. Xiaomi, huh? High end, kind of like up there like Apple, huh? That's their design? Am I seeing something wrong? Maybe. Maybe we have to literally pop it out of the band and put the module in the charger in order to charge it every night? Huh. Huh. Okay. There it is. There it is. Really? I'm sorry, folks. I'm having trouble with this one. I love to do it fresh out of the box so you can experience this frustration and confusion as well. Yeah, it snaps in there nice and snug. But every day, or what? not every day, it's got long life, right? Once every 20 days, whenever you're going to charge it to have to take it out of the band. But of course, you could get different colored bands, I guess, as well. A lot different than pulling the end off and plugging it in a USB. Well, there you go. That's the charging. Then we have... What looks like what I should have read to begin with, a multi 
language user's manual. And it looks like English is the first one. And indeed. And here we go. We're going to walk it through uh, with you on the manual like we always do. Yeah, it says you got to basically take it out first and then pop it in. So they're shipping it already installed. Good thing you know that you got to pop it out. Here's the connection QR code that's going to take you to MyFit app. We'll take a quick look at that here shortly, but let you know too that you can either just go to the Google Play Store and type in MyFit or use a link down below in the show notes that I'll have for you for tethering, and that'll take you right there. You can download it directly. And here's how it operates. You're going to have a button down at the bottom. Looks like you can slide up and down and left and right on this one. So a multi sliding direction. Disassembly by just pushing down and snapping it out, putting it into the charger, what we just did after fumbling around with it, precautions and overall specifications, which hopefully match up on the sheet that you just saw at the beginning of the screen. Now we get into all of the legal stuff, disposal, certifications, and more legal stuff. And... Then we're into a new language, aren't we? Okay. All right. Um, let's charge it up since I've already got it in the charger, and then I'll be back to give you the full review. All right, then. I've put a few hours of charging on this little thing. For goodness sakes, don't lose this wire. Don't break that connection. Uh, don't lose the dock. Because that's all you got from my... All right. Now, we've got the module, it's on already, and it needs to snap back in. And being that there's no key, it's hard to tell which way it is. I presume usually the buckle is at the top. I probably should have paid attention before I took it out, right? And we slide it in one way or another, hook it on the other side, and now it's back. Wow. Right. Not that end. Put that in. The button's down there. Okay, and I've got this part of it there. Now, if I put this on and slide this through like so, and snug it up good and press that in a hole. Oh, it snaps nicely. There we have it. It's on. And the button's at the right spot. Okay, we've been through that now. What am I looking at? It uh, seems to be fixed on a page. Well, <laughs> it's Huawei for you, just like a maze fit. Uh, you can't do anything unless you first pair it. It won't go anywhere. It's totally useless by itself. You have to have a cell phone. You have to have the MyFit app. You have to log into the app with your personal credentials and give them permission to collect data on you, or you got yourself a dead band. Yeah, I'm loving this more and more. All right, it's the MyFit app. We've seen that before. We'll show you a little bit again. I've already got it installed. I'm opening it. It's got some data from a different band that I used before. Oh, wonderful. It wants personalized advertising now to allow them to start sending me personalized ads featured on my fit before I can even actually use the band. Let's see if I can decline and still get uh, access here. Got my workouts and my status. Come back here and, well, they want to sell me running shoes, body score. Look at that. I miss the beach feet case. They don't even know what I've got yet. Interesting. Okay, let's go back over here to the opening page where we've got all sorts of things here. We've got friends, workout friends, and then profile. And I think we're going to start there. Here's my information that I've got. The one that I was using before with this app was called the Maze Fit Core. You remember that one? We did a review on it. Um, now we are doing the My F Band 4, right? Uh, so back over here to the plus sign, which is where we have to add it. Now this is kind of cool. You have a choice of all these different things that you could add that... Uh, uh, Xiaomi makes on all of these, and I presume this is a band. After you pair, the following info will be collected and processed. Do you want to? Well, if I decline, I won't be able to pair. So the only way, the only way to use this thing for anything, other than to look at that pretty green circle, 
is to accept. Access to location services is required. Got it. Okay. Wow. So it's in the process of searching for this particular band. And there we go. Confirming the band. I have to hit a check mark there. Check mark there. Pairing. I got my time set to the local time. It's restoring any band settings, I guess, that were there before. Settings for the previous device have been imported now into this device. Band lock. The band will be locked when it's removed from your wrist. Oh, really? Uh, multiple sports. There's six different sport modes supported, it says. Don't like it? Next one. Use the band to control the music you have playing on your phone. Okay, so it's got a uh, music player. I'd try it now, but I don't have music installed on this test phone here. But I guess I'll try the band now. Is that what it'll let me do? Oh, boy. We're going to have to update the firmware before it'll go. This is feeling so much like Apple and Microsoft. Man, the bigger you get, the more control is taken of what you can do and the less you actually have freedom to work with it. I will be back when the firmware update is done. And perhaps then we can review this band. Wow, really? <laughs> it already went through the whole first circle. Now it's starting a second one. And look how fast it's going. Make sure you got a lot of time on your hands before you put this time on your wrist. Well, I don't know. The circle's complete. It's been complete for about five minutes now. Yeah. Ah, uh, gee. If I wasn't reviewing this thing, I'd probably be packing it up to send it back right now. I'm sorry. I gotta be honest. That's totally ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> what is the big, the big thrill of this uh, band four? God, I can't even get it out. All right. I'm just gonna leave it alone till it's done. I'll save you all that time. Oh look. Oh, we are back. Oh gosh. Okay. Not charged after pairing, but it's at a hundred percent. Everything is set. There we go. Yeah, it is. It's 4.02 in the afternoon. I started at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Actually, I did at the beginning part of this video. Longest review of a band ever. Band display settings. Um, nothing is showing up. Oh, well, that's because it's got to think about it. It's got to bring up the configuration, I presume, of this particular band. Whoa, all right. What it's doing, I guess, is going to China, downloading the different watch faces that you could put on here. Sync with the watch. Well, in this case, the band. There's the original one. Let's see what happens. It's saving it. It's syncing it. It's transferring it. One bit at a time. Shows you how big it is and uh, how many downloads. Been 1,402 downloads so far. I'll be back. Well, there we go. Maybe that's some of the big excitement with this band is the fact you can put these custom uh, faces on here. Personally, I like big, easy to read digits. Give you a look at some more of them. Wow, there's a lot. All the way down. Okay. I saw my favorite already. It went by. It's either that one or that one. And I like thick digits. So I'm going to go ahead and sync that one. And we're done. Bingo. There you go. 4.05 in the afternoon. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's go back now. Easier to hit that back button for me. Unlock the screen. So you got to go to setting security, set up a screen unlock, and tap the smart lock to unlock the phone with the band. So you can use the band automatically to unlock your phone when you set that whole thing up. You have to go to the settings for that. I'm going to skip that part because I'm not going to unlock the phone with that. Uh, incoming call is on. Event reminder. Here's where you can set up uh, different events, I guess, like alarms and such. Well, events, this is alarms. App alerts are on, and uh, they'll be pushed to the watch. And an idle alert if you wanted to for sedentary uh, reminder to get up and move with start times and finish times and so forth. You can find the band. It's vibrating. 
Oh, that was it? Just two little dit dits? Really? You're not giving me like five or ten so I could actually have a chance of finding it if it were... Can you hear it? Me either. Ah, okay. Discoverable is off. That's turning it on. Um, reduce battery life, but makes the band discoverable for nearby devices. Band location, left or right. Lift wrist to view info, and you can set a time frame for doing that. Is it on? Yep, and it's working. Heart rate detection. Okay, here's where you've got automatic heart rate detection and sleep assistant. Sweet, okay. Explains what you're doing here. To turn this on, what does it say? It's turned off. I guess it's automatically turned on already. Detection frequency every minute. That's the lowest it can go. And activity detection. When it detects that you're doing exercise, it'll, it'll automatically increase the detection frequency of the heart rate. Cool, I like that. There's some new stuff. And a heart rate alert. Yay! It'll uh, let you know um, when your uh, value has been reached and there's no obvious activity in the last 10 minutes, it will vibrate. And you set your alert value. And that's probably calculated if you set up your parameters properly um, on what your maximum should be. I'll just leave it at the default for now. That's nice. You have a night mode, which if you turn that on, will uh, the screen brightness will be lowered automatically in the evening and you set your start and end times for it. Find ringtones. This, I guess, is so you can set what ringtone you want to uh, wake up uh, the phone when you try to find it from your band. Run in the background. This is instructions on how to set up your particular phone. This is an LG uh, to uh, be able to run in the background so it won't be put to sleep and you won't miss your notifications and such. All right, another new section, display settings. Uh, these are all the different options as you go through it. Now, I haven't showed you how you go through it. Let me deviate for a minute to show you that you don't press the button like you do on most bands. That would be logical. Oh, no, they've made it very tricky. You have to slide up or slide down, sort of, to go to the different levels, okay? But when you do... You can have them in a different order. Right now, I've got the ba uh, the band display followed by status, heart rate. I moved more up here to test it out. Used to be at the end. Workout, the overall weather and notifications, and you're back to the band time. When you're in some of these, for example, status, you tap it to get into it. There's my number of steps and so forth for the day. And you have a couple of screens there. To get out of this, you have to slide to the side. Real intuitive, huh? And uh, heart rate, you tap it to activate it and so forth. And that's how you get out of it. So this page is about reordering these. And uh, you can hide items if you want to, if you don't think you're ever going to use the weather or notifications, so forth. You have, um, if you can't access your notifications, you try to get the music info and allow music to send notifications and so forth from there. When you're done, you hit save, and that saves that whole thing. That's in the display settings. Weather is where you can uh, set up what city you want the weather, what temperature units, and push weather alerts to you. Have it set up for Shenzhen, which is where all of these watches come from. Lab is, um, I guess, a special area for their testing. This is a band lock, and I guess it notifies you if your band isn't the proper tightness. You have pairing restrictions if you want to, that you can tell it not to pair with certain apps. If, a lot of sophisticated stuff here. And of course, you learn more about it. That's that tutorial that it comes through at the beginning. Check for updates, which it didn't even give you a chance for that. You saw the beginning. It automatically spent, I'd say, at least 15 minutes of my time without my permission, going through firmware updates and calibration and setup and syncing with the app and just uh, annoying, very annoying. 
And it's down to 95% now after all of this description. <laughs> Actually, it's been quite a while. Um, so it has legitimately dropped 95% since yesterday when I started going through this stuff. So it's, it's got good battery life. Okay, where are we? That was all of the stuff related to the band. And the display settings, uh, we... Went through that to show you all the different watch faces that you can select from. Now, I don't know if you can actually download more of them or not. And now you see it's taking a long time to bring them in. Uh, but these are the set core ones that come with it. How about us put something different on for the rest of the review? What would you like? No, I'm not going to put that one. Uh... Oh, all right, let's go way up to the top, and how about that one there? Sync it with the watch. Three, two, one, boom. We're done. And it should be on the, the vent itself, and there it is. Okay, so that's covering all of the area on the band itself that's connected. Then you have all these places where you can set up goals, I put in your friends and have behavior tagging. Now, I really don't understand this. I looked at it, and I don't know if you tag these are the things you do during the day or if it notices that this is what you did. You ate, you bathed, you brushed your teeth, or if it gives you notices for doing that. I totally don't understand this area. If I say walk, it looks like I can start a walk. If I eat, I can start eating. Uh, yeah. Custom, and you enter the name of what that custom thing is. I guess it's for all of you guys who love to blog exactly what you're doing all day long uh, to make sure you have a record of it. Then you've got a history report you can go into that tells you what you did. When you bathed, when you stood, when you cycled, all those things. Yawn. Okay. You can add accounts, help, feedback, smart analysis. It will, uh, you could trigger that to turn it on to give you sleep quality analysis and body type analysis. Interesting. That's all in the overall app in the profile settings. Okay. And in the ultimate settings, you can switch your units, um, metric or imperial, and same thing for uh, the weight. Check for updates and about, of course, sign out of your account. Sign in as somebody else if you'd like. Friends is empty unless you scan QR codes and literally link yourself with your friend that way. And then the overall results page, which you're finally getting back to. You have all of these different events that you can launch from the phone that tie into the GPS of your phone and give you uh, actual tracks of what you're doing. Uh, you don't go there because it gives you the map of your location. You can try that on your own. But as far as the step count goes, it gives me uh, the step so far on the band, which I should get when I, and I can't just press it, remember, that doesn't work. I have to slide it, and I have to touch it to get into status. There's my 500 steps and so forth. There's my last night's sleep time with weight and heart rate. And all these things you put in generically in your um, uh, profile. Uh, body score. Don't have a body score. The score obtained by analyzing height, body fat, water, muscles, and other data. And it's blank right now. Um, anyway, here's my overall heart rate. And my last night's sleep time. And when I go into here, if I can... Doesn't look like I can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Last night's sleep time information shows you the time frames. It was really a hard night last night. Um, deep sleep, only 36 minutes. Fell asleep too late. That's true. Didn't get enough sleep, right? So this is the analysis that you get based on your sleep. Where you fall with respect to other people and so forth. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, and, and falling. That's pretty much how I feel today. Um, kind of how I feel about this band and everything you got to go through just to use the silly thing. Heart rate, if I can access it. No, okay, it's just 
There you go. All right. Got to work on it. Calculated my resting heart rate is 60. Continuous heart rate zone and information. Maximum, minimum, and so forth. So it's doing its little green diode thing, flashing regularly, giving us a heart rate indicator. And you can see it's kind of going into different zones periodically there. Here's where I took it off and had a shower and then it's back on again. And right now it's off again. And uh, it said my last heart rate was 73. So you've got that. And that's all here. Your workouts are over here. And again, the step count, total other activities, and total energy today are reported on, uh, on there. And that's from the overall main page. So that's a look at the, the MyFit app that goes with this band. And again, to actually work with this tiny little screen, uh, you have to slide it to move through. We showed you the status. Heart rate's pretty self-explanatory. When you tap on more, you see you can set up a do not disturb, alarms, your music player, basic stopwatch or countdown timer, find your device, that's working, alarm is off, I just said, and I've got to go that way to get out of it. Um, you can go in silent mode, here's your band display where you can change it from the band, you don't have to do it in here, your overall settings where you can change the brightness and you can increase it really nice and bright. So it's relatively good to see outdoors. Uh, you can lock the screen and you have to put in the password thing if you do that. You can reboot it, factory reset it. There's regulatory information and about the band. And I'm gonna change that brightness down a little bit. By the way, here's the lowest lowest. That's really, really low. You can hardly even see it. And it has that auto brightness feature, which is pretty cool. And it does seem to work at night. If you set the time frame up, it'll go into a nice low light level for wearing it uh, at home. Okay, overall impressions, as I tell you that this thing is available from TomTop, uh, the My Band 4 from Xiaomi, right? Uh, I don't know, I like it and I don't. I really don't like the difficulty of getting it set up that you can't use it right out of the box, but then that's Xiaomi's trademark. All the Amazfit watches are the same way. You have to tether them to a phone before you can even get past that first screen. And you saw all the pain going through that and getting it updated so you can actually use it. So if you buy one of these, make sure you set it and dedicate some time to get it fully set up and don't get frustrated by it because you're not gonna use it right out of the box, that's for sure. When you get past all of that stuff, it's kind of a generic band. There's nothing really great about it. I'm not too pleased that I can't just touch the button and cycle through it, but maybe they had some complaints about it changing screens too quickly and change the way you do it. Um, step count is nominal. Heart rate doesn't seem to be outrageous in terms of what you can do with it it's not giving you recovery times or how much time you were in zones a lot of other bands do better at that um i really 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 do not like the fact that you you got to take it out of this plastic enclosure thing just to be able to charge to charge it and how difficult it is to kind of get in and out and it's not really keyed to which way to put it back in the band um, so you got to kind of pay attention of where your straps are before you take it out it's 2019 folks this is xiaomi this is sh <laughs> i don't know it's a real step back in terms of the physical design uh in my book and it's marginal in the basic stuff that it will do and I will be doing a battle of the bands, <laughs> yeah, of some of the newest, uh, at least three of the newest bands on the market so you can compare them, what the screens are like, what the layout is like, what the app is like, an overall synopsis to give you a better idea of which one you should buy. But if you're convinced that you want to be walking around with the state-of-the-art uh, uh, my band four because everybody's talking about it here it is and it's available from tom top check the show notes and we'll uh, make sure we have a discount for you if possible and you can pick one up right away okay you've been watching smartwatch sticks you've heard that before and we will be back soon definitely with some comparisons for you
Take care.